All right. <coughs> Back with the Squire Mini after many technical difficulties here. Just getting set up to go. Waited a couple of days to do this. Just to have house to myself and a little bit of light to do it. And uh, yeah, just a little bit of time, a little bit of free time to do this. So first thing I'm going to do is get these strings off. Man, these tuners are fucking junk. Look at that. That's really great. Those are awesome. Just fucking junk. I don't know why they put these tuners. And they sell these tuners. I've seen these tuners for sale on Stumac. They're called economy tuners. And they look just like this fucking junk. Um, so, yeah, these are garbage. Yeah, so I'll just give you a quick look at these. I've never seen them before. But anyway, those are the little, those are the little string ferrules, I don't know what you call them. But that's essentially where you insert the string, and then it's got to come up through the, uh, it's got to come up through the inside of that little saddle. So it's a bit fiddly. Uh, this would be pretty nice if it was string through. But anyway, that's a lot of, that'd be a lot of work to do. Uh, to this, maybe another day, not today. So let's let's get back to these these tuners, which are fucking junk. And I'll give you a good look at just what kind of what kind of. Oh my God, these aren't even tight. No wonder they're just loose. Awesome. So this is an example of how poorly these come set up from the factory. That was like a full, I would say, um, centimeter or so out. Okay, so here they are. These things are just junk. Let's see if I can get, a, get this to focus. So they just tell them that these two screws and then this top, I don't know if you can see that. Let's see if I can get the tuner out of the way. Um what focus? Come on. Anyway. Let's see how maybe I can show it to you. It just bit fiddly but it slides forward and then just comes right off the tuner shaft. You can see there now. See how it's a bit notched? And then it just slides onto that tuner shaft on the on the sh on the narrow end of it and then slides up. But anyway, these are just like junk bottom of the bottom of the rail like they're terrible there's no lubrication on them um, I opened up my daughter's one the other one we have and the other black one we had why won't that focus focus you bastard um, anyway I'm rambling but these are junk like they're even loose inside here and I wish I could show you, but maybe you can see that. See how this shaft is held in there? And these, this is actually open, right? And those gears go through there. And then it just hooks up with this, which is tightened with this adjustment screw, which goes into the shaft. But these are, like, I don't even know why they bother manufacturing these things. Because they don't work. Anyway, off they come. I've rambled on enough. Oh wow, this one's loose too. And that's how they come from the factory. And I'm sure over time, that is not uh, really a great thing for the tuners over time. But 
But anyway, let's get this. Alright. Let's get this thing turned over and get these things popped out. Not exactly sure what the best way to get those things out is, but let's just see if I can MacGyver that out of there. Yeah, that's probably not a good idea. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Alright. I don't recommend anybody do that. I just did that because I figured I could make it work. And uh, it did. Nine times out of ten doing that stuff is just confidence. It's just about the confidence of doing it and thinking, yep, I'm going to win. This is going to work. And of course, knowing when to stop. Why isn't that sitting straight? I'll tell you why it's not sitting straight. Because you forgot to take these out. I note these sometimes have different size uh, metal bushings uh, for the string height here for uh, intonation. So keep track of which one is which. Alright, let's see if I can get something. Do this. Will that sit straight? It will sit straight. All the tuners sit straight. Alright, now the reason I'm doing this is so that I don't get blowout when I do the holes. Uh, and I forgot something. I forgot my clamps. So I'm going to pause here. Alright. I am back. And hopefully I'm set up to go here now. I have uh should have taken the neck off but whatever. I'm lazy. Uh, I've got the neck the headstock clamp to this board that I don't care about drilling into, and then the whole works clamped into my desk. And now I am going to go very gently and see if I can enlarge these holes without screwing this up. See what we got. Well, not the cleanest looking holes, but let's see how we made out. I would say that I'm pretty happy with that. That worked out. Except some of them I don't think went all the way through. And they didn't. 
I can see right there. This one, this one, and this one. Not bloody bad. That's pretty damn clean, I'd say. Oh my truth. Yay, they fit. Alright, now. Nice and tight. I really noticed the holes. Fan effing tastic. I would say that there. I don't know if I can get any better light on that. I would say that there is winner winner chicken dinner. That there is a success. I'm all kinds of happy about that. Alright, this video is probably going to be really long now because that took forever to do. Uh, so I'll come back with uh, restringing it and clean up some of this junk. But yeah, I'm all kinds of happy about that. That was well worth doing. Well worth doing indeed. And even though the uh, tuner holes weren't drilled, I mean, the cleanest, you can't even tell. Like, you cannot tell. That's just fantastic. So, while uh, some of my methods might not have been ideal, uh, do whatever you're comfortable with. Obviously, this is not a teaching uh, <laughs> channel. I'm not teaching anybody to do anything. I'm an amateur, I'm learning myself, so I'm probably doing a lot of stuff you probably shouldn't be doing. But I'm uh, but I'm pleased with the result here. I mean, really all there's left to do here is just string it up and see how these uh, see how these feel. But I'm sure they're going to be about a bajillion billion times better than the crap that was on there. So, yeah. From from this to that, in about meh, 45 minutes, probably could have been less, but I took my time, went slow, 
Anyway, I'll be back with, uh, hopefully some more stuff being done to this baby. String it up, see how it feels.